between Star Trek Discovery, Picard, Lower Decks, and other exciting shows on the horizon, it's a great time to be a Star Trek fan. And soon, fans will have a chance to own a part of the Star Trek universe too. Recently, we stopped by Prop Store, where a large collection of costumes from Star Trek Discovery were being organized and prepared for an upcoming auction. And before these uniforms and props get into the hands of fans, we got to get up close with these costumes and learn as much as we could about the nuances of their design and fabrication. So Megan, thank you so much for having us here. You're it's welcome. Megan, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> for coming Me out. Uh, Megan Hensley here is the director of asset management, mm -hmm. but that's a that's a very like bureaucratic way of saying you get to handle and Play. organize and manage <laughs> incredible yeah. costumes. Yes, I do. I am very lucky to be able to put a hands-on approach to all of these and creating the auctions um, that are coming up and uh, be able to feel and taste and smell everything that comes in uh, into Prop Store, so. Oh, that's a fan's dream <laughs> because right now we're in front of some real used costumes, hero mm -hmm. costumes from season one and two of Star Trek Discovery. Yes. Uh, and you guys in partnership with CB Yes, you guys are going to be allowing fans to purchase. Mm -hmm. How many costumes here are we talking about? We are looking at about over 200 lots, um, and there are various numbers of costumes in those lots, too. Of course, the primary and principal actors, we've got one or two um, each, and then a plethora of background, which is great. Uh, we have everything from the standard uniform to Mirror Universe to uh, Klingon and uh, Enterprise. So oh. we have everything, and everybody's going to be so excited to see it. So yeah. I'm excited to show. It. As someone who's had to organize and had get in contact with every one of these pieces, yep. I thought it'd be a great chance for us to dive deep into the costume design of Star Trek Discovery. Okay. Pick your brain a little bit about what you've learned in uh -huh. managing these costumes let's and insights that you have. So let's start with that costume right next to you. All right. So this is Michael Burnham's actual costume, or one of them. Um, this one actually has a little bit of a distressed hole over here, but it's in overall great shape. Um, it is the standard uniform that you see. Um, um, and this one is Sciences Division, and they did um, all sorts of colors for uh, to indicate the divisions. So you'll have the command as gold, uh, Sciences as silver, and Operations as bronze. Um, and so as you guys know, as the fans know, uh, Michael Burnham did start as a uh, command, in command, so she had a gold uniform, which we do have for sale. Um, but this is her, the one that she spends most of the time in. And something that's so eye-catching about these uniforms and this design mm -hmm. is the collar, right? Yes. Collars are a big thing in Star Trek. <laughs> yes. And what they brought to Discovery was this like, asymmetrical collar mm -hmm. design. Yes, and it's very lovely. It kind of folds over here and then it, it detaches right in the um, the center front there. Ah. Um, exactly. And then you have this off-centered um, zipper design, which is really very unique. Uh, brings a kind of a distinction to Discovery that we all really adore, so. What type um, of fabric is this? This is a spandex fabric, it's a blend. Um, but it was custom made for this production. So you can't actually get this anywhere else but here. Um, and the great thing about it is um, Gersha Phillips, the designer, created this bonding, or she worked with a company to create a bonding technique to flatline this. That provides the major structure for each actor to fit into this very, very well. So they are all super custom fit to each actor, even the background actors. I, I think so. of like a spandex or like a, you know, a, a poly blend jacket I would mm -hmm. wear. And, you know, as tight fit it is, it kind of still, it bunches it's up, still... right? It doesn't, it's not as form fitting as you want it in your head to be. <laughs> and so think, yes. to create structure in that material, mm -hmm. no yeah. easy task, as well as the patterning. No, um, exactly. You have some fantastic pattern lines um, to create that form fitting. That's what this, um, Princess, uh, Princess seems here does, and then she uh, keeps it going down through the pant, which is very lovely. Creates that very nice long lean line for mm. each actor. So, and on yeah. that you have you know, the Federation, the Delta, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So this is one of the um, very unique things to discovery is that Delta um, and the rubberized print. If you want me to talk about that a yeah, little bit, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. This was, uh, I would say, the cosplayer's nightmare was this rubberized print. Um, uh, the deltas, of course, are the signature, and you can see the tiny deltas kind of um, come out in um, some of the earlier or the remake films, two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. You saw the little deltas on the screen print. 
Right, so right. she brought those into this um, design really well, uh, added a rubberized print, then foiled it on top. And that, of course, uh, distinguishes the departments. Um, and that foiling technique was done in-house by hand by her creative team. It was absolutely amazing to see. I think Adam talks about this a lot. We see this kind of evolution in costume design with new technologies being available, mm -hmm. evolutions in screen printing. So you see a lot like superhero costumes have yes. with some type of rubberized screen printing. A lot you know, of them do these and, and, days. And, and repeating patterns on mm -hmm. there. But that adds dimensionality. Uh, but this with the additional, the, the foiling, yes. gives it like light reflectivity, you know, yes. with, with the, the brilliant lights and they have on the show. And a lot of depth, a lot of depth you can see in the lines, a lot of depth um, all over the shoulder detail, everywhere she's got that really nailed down and, uh, and it creates just a nice um, uniform look. As a Star Trek fan, one of the things we also pick out is like how the different uniforms are distinguished for, for rank, for example, uh -huh, right? You know, exactly. is, it, is it stripes on the wrist? <laughs> is it pips on the collar? Oh, wow, like, you're very well versed it, in that. Yeah, how's it in, in Discovery? <laughs> so in Discovery, of course, they do do some of their, um, on the badges, which of course we don't have those, but um, on here you can see, this is the Admiral's um, costume. She has, um, the stripes on here to indicate command, uh, captain in particular, you wouldn't see these. And then as an admiral, she, they added these on the sleeve caps. Mm, so that mm. was the indication of rank. And of course, everybody who is just a standard um, uh, unit would just not have those on there. It'd just be a clean look. And that's gold because it's- It's uh, gold because yep, it's command. Command, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Exactly. And you mentioned the pants continue that line. The design. Mm -hmm. Right, the design. So it, it creates a cohesiveness to it. Absolutely. Slimming look as well. Yep. But these are also custom pants. They are, and the patterning that she did, um, this nice little, uh, very piecemeal patterning, really pops out when you see it up close. She brought in the zipper detail here. It's it's foiled as well, which is really super hard to do, but these were custom made for the production. Uh, both so, that and these zipper lines uh, yes, as well. Yes, exactly. The, wow. the top ones, the asymmetrical ones, the ones on the pants. And then, of course, you have this embroidery, beautiful waved detail that you do with a, a spandex and a knit, and it's really hard to do. But they did it um, all for every single costume um, that you can see throughout, even through the Enterprise um, costumes, you see this lovely detail. And then a lot of patchwork down here. And that all of that gold goes all the way down to that hem. So absolutely amazing detail. I love that pointing out that embroidery detail, the horizontal line. Mm -hmm. For me, it evokes a little bit of, you know, like Star Trek 2009, the motorcycle yes. style pants they had, yes. which had that kind of on the knee line. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with every Star Trek designer, Star Trek show designer wants to do their own thing, but also have references exactly. and, 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 and I, little I, nods to what's been done in the I past. I do believe that uh, Gersha Phillips had access to all of the original things from TOS, TNG, um, 2009, Beyond. Beyond is actually a very good um, comparison. When you take a look at the, the design lines, you can see a little bit of a nod to that movie. It's absolutely beautiful. So, and great some, combination. Something, of course, big part of the Star Trek universe is the mirror universe, the which mirror they universe. dove into yes. head first in season one of Discovery exactly. and season two as well. So uh, this is Tilly? uh, Tilly's mm -hmm. uniform. Yeah, very popular, um, uh, very popular character, as you know. This is her uniform. Unfortunately, we do not have the buckle there, but we were able to put the rest of her uniform together. Um, it is a jumpsuit, like all of the mirror uniforms, they just decided to go ahead and go with the jumpsuit, which you did see a little bit of that in the Discovery uh, universe as well. Um, so they took that design. They did not include the deltas, but they did really um, uh, mix up the, the fabrics and the materials for this one. So you have your um, rubberized and um, armor and belt, mm -hmm. and this is urethane, and then you have leathers, oh, and you have- that's what that is. Yeah, you have some rubber um, fa fabrics up here, which is very um, indicative of the shoulders up here. So they kind of, they kept to that same design, but they added a little, you know, the oomph that you needed for the mirror universe. It's a darker timeline. I love it how is. it's broken up here too, mm -hmm. between the shoulder and 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 the, yeah, the material the, yeah. effects exactly. A That's, lot of materials in these one jumpsuits, and just absolutely beautiful work here. And very intricate. These are all glued on individual pieces onto really? that. Really. Mm -hmm. Wow. I know. <laughs> so it's a cast earthing piece, but the piping and everything. Yeah, they is, just had pieced together, and they would design them, create them right there. It, you know. 
cosplayers think, you know, spending the hours that they're mm -hmm. going to, it's, it's the same amount of work, it that, is. right? It and, is. and they have to Absolutely. do this on a scale of hundreds of costumes. Yes, they did. So, oh. yeah, of course, the, the higher the, the principle, the more details that they got. But uh, so this one's, uh, this one's on sale for um, during the auction. And then we've got some other armor pieces, such as Michael Burnham. And then we have, of course, um, the, the chief and in command, the Empress, I believe she is yes. called, um, and her costume too. So we have some great pieces from that mirror universe. I thought this was a cool time to pull up the boots as oh, yeah. well because the yes, boots exactly. are also In fully comparison. custom. There's yes. a theme going on here. There is. It's not just, you know, we would Google like Chelsea boots or something for classic, you know, science fiction I boots, wish. but <laughs> that's not the case here. Nope, completely 100% custom made for the show. Um, they're super expensive, but um, one of the great little details I'd love to show is that they did do the, the same foiling, same colors mm -hmm. as um, the uniform. And then as you can see, they added the little deltas and the difference, you might want to uh, take a closer look right there. Yes. You can see that the deltas point forward for the Discovery um, timeline and then for Mirror Universe, they are pointing uh, backwards. Yeah. So <laughs> That's a but, subtle thing. It is a subtle thing. But the other thing that, that we are including in these and that the production gave to us is these great Mirror Universe um, buttons that go right mm. on top. So they're stickers and they go right on top of that. So if you think that we're missing that, we are not missing that. Those are there, but we're allowing the um, the customer to go ahead and put them on themselves. It's what works, right? I exactly. think, you know, double-sided tape stickers it's how the com badges were done <laughs> in next generation it's yes, just a classic exactly. thing for tv production and mm -hmm. you know and star trek a and nice cheap but a great way to reuse what they already have absolutely so. now mm -hmm. i know for season two we also had the appearance of the enterprise we did i'm gonna hand you those i've got a couple pieces to Ooh. show you hold on one so second exciting. So oh, here these is. are so cool. Look at the richness and color. Wow. Same design, which is great because they reused their patterning, but um, they did decide not to use the um, the deltas on this. Mm -hmm. I think that was just kind of a let's progress into the classic TOS colors style, the look, so that you can see a natural progression between the uniforms and and even uh, Captain Pike mentions, oh yes, these are our spoofy new uniforms right, in right. the very first episode. So. This one in particular is not Pikes, as you can see, it's a skirt. So they introduced the skirt too, which yep. is a great way to start to see that evolution. Um, and uh, But they kept the stripes on the side. Um, you can see the details very, very similar in the pants, still yeah. that embroidery there that's there. Um, and then um, as far as the, the command, we don't have it on here, but they are the rubberized prints still. It's just in the same color as this here. So um, very great nod, the use of color is amazing. Amazing. Um, and of course, we have our ranks mm -hmm, <laughs> now. Mm -hmm. This is a great nod uh, um, also to TOS because instead of trying to do the ranks on the shoulders, they went ahead and moved into the cuffs. So you can see that the ranks are there. But these are foiled. Him. They're foiled, exactly. So they did use the same technique. Um, you don't you think that this would be an original. So it was almost like they adopted the foiling technique here and said, well, why don't we just go ahead and use it as a rank indicator for Enterprise? So that's wow. exactly what they did. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And to exist in the same universe, this is the same fabric as it here? It is the same fabric, oh, yes. I and it's specialty that. dyed. And uh, I know that that creative team did a lot of research on the original colors of TOS. And they did a huge um, nod to it, the blues and the... Um, the uh, yellows and the reds just go straight from that um, that era, that TOS um, color scheme. So, and then it comes and very much complements the dark blue of Discovery. Yeah. So when you see them on screen together, it's a very nice cohesive mix. I look at the inside of the collar, and mm -hmm. these are all labeled, right? They're labeled for the, you know, whether the actor or the scene. <laughs> yes, they are. You know, this one says stunt right here. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned that these costumes are tailored for the the you know the principal actors. Yes. But when they have extras, how's you know how's the sizing? When you look at hundreds of these costumes, what are you noticing in terms of how this production and you know, other television show productions organize well, sizing? That's a good question. Um, in my experience, production, what they tend to do is they do basic blocks. So you'll have your extra small, so extra large, or however uh, size they went up to. And then they would um, finish those pieces and then bring them to the actor and custom make them, custom uh, bring them in, tailor them to fit those exact mm. actors. Even the backgrounds got custom Really? Costumes, They're so. just not off the rack? 
rack. They're not they're... off the rack. No, exactly. So that's why you'll see a bunch of names in these. And sometimes they'll see extras, um, you know, as an extra. And that was maybe possibly not even tailored or worn at that point. We right. do have a few of those to offer oh, too. So that's it's an interesting insight for especially for collectors. Yeah. Because for someone to pick this up, yes, you're going to want to have it displayed on a mannequin, yes. but I, I, I imagine some people may want to try them on themselves. They may fit them. <laughs> but no promises. No that's, promises. That's right. These actors are a wide range of, uh, of sizes, but they are all custom fit to them, and they are absolutely just beautiful pieces, even if you just use them for mannequins. So. That is so cool. Megan, thank you so much you're for welcome. diving deep into the world of Star Trek Discovery <laughs> costumes with us. Uh, there are hundreds of pieces mm -hmm. in this auction, and we'll be covering more of them uh, as the auction begins, beginning of September. September, is that yeah, right? September 2nd is when we start releasing the catalog, and you can take a look. Awesome. And we'll have links mm -hmm. to where you can find that information in the description below. But Megan, thank you so you're much. You're welcome. Thanks for stopping by.